A R Y January. Now, 
I am the head of Gate to Nazi 1 and 2. And thank you. Okay. Um, can you please tell me who is Mr. Jata first? Okay. Mr. Jata is my father. Um, he is the founder of JTT Nozzle 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. And um, he is a great man. Mm -hmm. After he is traveling, like when he was 18, he went to abroad. Mm -hmm. From there, when he came back, he Big country? Huh? Big country? Different countries. Okay. Because he was not in one country, he went around. Okay. And then after his. Um, um, after his traveling, mm -hmm. he came back and settled in the Gambia. Now he decided to open a school, which mm -hmm. is an um, early childhood in, uh, early childhood education. Mm -hmm. Now he has two centers, mm -hmm. JTT Nursery 1 and mm -hmm. JTT Nursery 2. Mm -hmm. Before going further, mm -hmm. I would like to say what is the meaning of JTT Nursery School. Okay. JTT means Jata Teaching Techniques. Mm -hmm. And he is the founder of JTT Nursery. Then from there till to date, this year 2022, um, not long ago, he passed out on the 14th August 2022. Okay. But Mr. Jata was a very great man. All his life, he was serving people. He made sure that children acquire knowledge at an early stage and help them to develop their skill. Yeah. Okay, uh, that's very good. So, can you please tell me where did Mr. Jata work before? Or whether Mr. Jata was an educated person or did he ever go to school? Yes. Mr. Jata, according to him, mm -hmm. what he told us mm -hmm. was that school was his best friend. He loved education mm -hmm. and books were his friend. Mm -hmm. Till the before he passed out, whatever he used to tell us, he said, mm -hmm. you know, you have to concentrate on your books. Mm -hmm. You need to read mm -hmm. and make more research, mm -hmm. and you will know a lot about this world. Mm -hmm. And then I could remember him saying that he established JTT Nursery 1 in 1987, mm -hmm. and later published it in 1988. Oh, that's my age. Yes, mm -hmm. in 1988. Mm -hmm. And now that is more than 30 years. Mm -hmm. Yes, from 1987 Sorry. till date. It's 30 years. It's 30 years, yeah. yeah? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, so you said Mr. Jata established the school mm -hmm. in 1987. 87, yes. By that time, was he teaching the children or was he teaching the elders? No, he was you... teaching the elders. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sorry, he was teaching the kids. Mm -hmm. Yes, I could remember him saying um, the first year, that was 1987, mm -hmm. um, in JTT1, mm -hmm. he only had three kids mm -hmm. for the first time. That's what and started. Then, yes, how started, he yeah. started. Mm -hmm. And then people were saying, like, you you were all the way from abroad. Mm -hmm. Instead of doing something, you said you are teaching. Mm -hmm. What will you gain from teaching? Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. And then people started uh, criticizing, mm -hmm. calling the school uh, um, Balanta School mm -hmm. and calling him Teacher Balanta. Mm -hmm. But he is a man of his word, mm -hmm. and he is very um he he concentrated on whatever he wants to do. Mm -hmm. He is very passionate. Mm -hmm. That is why he did not give up after all the criticize after all what people were saying. Mm -hmm. He stood by his feet and saying that I, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to make sure that I work hard for a better future. And Alhamdulillah. Imagine from three kids, mm -hmm. before the end of the year, people started bringing because they see a um, lot of things that he was doing, mm -hmm. and which is actually uh, actual, uh, absolutely very important. Mm -hmm. And then people started bringing their kids. Mm -hmm. This is the legacy that he has built, and this is what he left um, with us here in Tallinn. Mm -hmm. And now we have um, up to ten teachers who are monitoring the school mm -hmm. and who are making sure that we fulfill what he has um, started. Okay. So, um, as a hero, Mr. Jata was a hero. Yeah. I know because I know Mr. Jata very well. Mm -hmm. um, so, where did he start um, giving that knowledge to the kids? In which area? Okay. Is it in Talindin or somewhere else? Mm -hmm. Or in his compound? Okay. Um, in the Gambia here, mm. he started it in Talindin. Mm. That is um, GDT 1. Mm. One at, around the Bantaba, Talindin. Yes, but before then, mm -hmm. I could remember because we used to chat a lot. Mm -hmm. He used to tell me that before coming back to the Gambia, when he was in Germany, yeah. he used to have um, one teacher mm -hmm. 
mm. a German lady mm. who introduced him to this early childhood education. Mm. Mm. Now then, when he come back to the Gambia, then he decided to proceed with that um, system that is um, introducing this early childhood education. Now, when you come to look at it, in the Gambia here, he is one of the first people who established this nursery school in Talini. Mm. Yes. Okay. So, Mr. Jata, uh, um, did you know how many countries did he win in Europe? Absolutely, I don't know, but it's plenty. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, did he tell you anything about his job in Europe? He was a seaman. Okay. Yes, he was a seaman because yeah. according to even some of the history narrated in Balanta, mm. yes, there are a lot of questions that people ask him. Mm -hmm. But what I could fully take there is that apart from the ECD work that he was doing, mm. he was a seaman. Mm. But I think he did that for so long because that is why he traveled for one country to another. Mm -hmm. He traveled, I think, more than it's nearly 10 countries because even if you see the language that he can speak mm -hmm. this international language he can speak a lot of them uh, so that can you name should, some of it yes he can speak french mm -hmm. english mm -hmm. Deutsch. Mm -hmm. then you have the italian language german mm -hmm. yes germany mm -hmm. yes you have the Deutsch. Mm -hmm. i think there are a lot of them that he used to speak here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, did he teach those languages also here? Yeah, there are some um, some people that have the white, uh, maybe the white ladies, mm -hmm. and then they cannot communicate with the uh, white people. Mm -hmm. So they will come to him and then ask him to help um, so that he, uh, they will be able to communicate mm -hmm. with that language. Yes, I witnessed there are some people who came, you know, maybe they have a German uh, lady, and they cannot speak the language, they can't communicate. Mm -hmm. He started teaching them the language so that they will be able to know how to communicate uh, to each other. Okay. Yeah. So I heard that Mr. Jata was a writer also. Yes. Here, here <laughs> Mr. Jata is a writer, yes. And he wrote lots of um, lot of things mm. about the history of the Balantas. Okay. Not only the history of the Balantas, but mm. he loved writing. Mm. Whatever he thinks and whatever comes to his mind, mm. he makes sure that he put it on a piece of paper mm. or a booklet where he will keep it. Mm. Yeah, that is his nature. Yeah. yeah. Um, I can once remember there was a day um, he told me that Alasan, whatever you do, or whatever you say, or whatever you have, just write it in a paper. If you write it, you won't forget it. But if you want to start in your brain, you may forget it. Yeah, so, and sometimes I used to visit him here in his office, but I see many books. He used to show me his lifetime books and his lifetime pictures. Also, and also he used to show me some of the Blanta's books. So, Mr. Jata, um, I heard that uh, Mr. Jata was the head of the Balantas in Gambia and Senegal and Bissau. Is that true? Yes. Um, he is a historian mm -hmm. because um, not long ago, mm -hmm. you know, I'm very close to him and then time to time we do have chats like that. Mm -hmm. I could, ha I heard him saying that before traveling to the Europe, mm. he started this research. Mm. But after then, just like one year, mm. he left the country. Mm. When he came back, mm. he decided to do more research on the history of the Balantas. Mm. Now, when you come to look at it, um, you will find out that before, in the mm. history of the Gambia, mm. when you look at the ethnic groups, you won't see any Balanta tribe there. Mm. But Alhamdulillah, mm. after these years, Mm -hmm. You will see now, when you go to the history uh, uh, of the Gambia, mm -hmm. and when you look at the ethnic groups, you will find out that Balantas are among them. Um, now, this is because of him, yeah. because he sacrificed a lot in this country. Mm -hmm. All he was doing is to see that his tribe mm -hmm. and culture doesn't fade away. Mm -hmm. That is why he always stood by his feet and bring all the Balantas together. Mm -hmm. um, this is what he uh, lived for. Mm -hmm. Till death, because you can come to realize that sometimes, even when he is sick, and you say, Ah, dad, no need to go, just relax. He said, No, 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 if I don't go, who will do it? Yeah, yes, I had that one, from him also. He is one in a million. Yeah. I can say that anywhere I go, mm -hmm. and then he's proud of who he is. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, honestly, Mr. Data is just a great man mm -hmm. and a great leader indeed. Yeah, yeah. yeah.
So, can you please tell me the types of work he do? Yes, this. Mr. Jata, apart from the research, mm -hmm. he's a teacher and also he's a cameraman. Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. Um, when did he start um, doing that camera? Because uh, there was a time I, I used to see him um, rounding, um, telling to take, take pictures yeah. on passport size. Yeah. Yeah, with Antu. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, pictures is his favorite, I can say that. Because um, even when you go to the office right now, mm -hmm. you can see a lot of, um, um, lot of albums mm -hmm. full of pictures when he was abroad. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then he started it when he was there, mm -hmm. and then he didn't stop. When he came back, he, do, uh, he established the school, and at the same time, he is doing his pictures, his photographing um, business. Okay. Yes. Oh, that's very cool. Yeah. That's a good skill. Sure. So, did he ever work in the radios or televisions? Yes. He worked in a radio, mm. um, different radios, okay. uh, West Coast, mm. City Limit, mm. and GRTS Radio, mm. and also GRTS TV. Okay. Yeah. So, which uh, was he doing? It's a Balanta program. Okay. Yeah, because all his life he lived to see that Balantas are known mm. everywhere. Mm. So, he is a proud Balanta mm -hmm. and then he knows his culture. He goes to Guinea Bissau, Senegal, and different kind of countries mm -hmm. just to see that he know his culture very well. Mm -hmm. And then after knowing that, now he's a big historian in the mm -hmm. Balanta. Mm -hmm. That is why they will tell you that when he passed away, they say, ha, we lost a great hero. Mm -hmm. Because people would call him from Senegal, Guinea Bissau, mm -hmm. just to ask, you mm -hmm. know, to know if they have any doubt in the Balanta, yeah. they will call him directly and call, ah, Mr. Gata, we have this and this and this. So we don't know how to say it in Balanta. Can you please help us? He's a man that worked so hard to see that his tribe mm -hmm. and culture never dies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in, in that point, there was a day, um, he told me that there was one white woman who went to Guinea Bissau and want to know the history of Balantas yeah. and they direct him to him. Yeah. Direct her to him. Um, but before he come here, um, he go to Kasamas and see whether he can get that what he want. But the Kasamas also, they direct her to yeah. Mr. Jata. Yeah. So, as he used to tell me, Whatever is missing in the Balantas language, they used to call him or come to him and ask him. Yeah. So that's why uh, there was a day he told me that um, I don't think Anto will copy me. His eldest, I, I can say his eldest son, yeah, will copy on me because um, I want Anto to know um, to know the language and the culture. But Anto is only following music, so. That's yeah, that is life. You know, we yeah. all have different perspectives. Yeah. And then, even you have a ch uh, you have children. Not everybody will follow your footsteps. Mm -hmm. And then, if anybody chooses to go another way around, it's not a big problem because that is what he or she wants to do. Mm -hmm. But I could tell you, like today, when I say um, uh, Balantas are part of the ethnic groups of the Gambia, mm -hmm. and when you go around to the schools in their textbooks, you will mm -hmm. find out that it's true. Yeah. It's only because of him, mm -hmm. because. Throughout the Gambia, you know, most people will hear the, um, the tribe Balanta, Balanta, mm -hmm. but they don't know what the tribe is all about. They mm -hmm. think it's um, related to Mandinka mm -hmm. or Jola or whatsoever. But due to his hard work, um, mm -hmm. you will see even not long ago, before he passed out, mm -hmm. that uh, uh, August, we have students from the University of the Gambia mm -hmm. who are doing research on the Balanta history. Mm -hmm. And then due to that help, those people were able to come up with a lot of things mm -hmm. and then put it in, uh, write it, and then now take it back to their lecturers. Mm -hmm. Now they believe that we have Balantas, and Balantas are totally different from um, all the other types of um, ethnic groups. Mm -hmm. And Balantas are also, they, are, uh, they have their own, uh, their own language, different mm -hmm. from Mandinkas and others, what people think. But Alhamdulillah, now we have Balantas all over, mm -hmm. and now um, due to his um, hard work, mm -hmm. most of the people who are Balantas and they cannot speak Balantas mm -hmm. are able to come out and be proud of who they are, even though they cannot speak the language. Okay. Yeah.
How many categories are in blood? There are different uh, categories in Balanta. Actually, I can't tell you exactly how many of them, okay. but Balantas we are divided into subgroups. So, did, did Mr. Jata uh, teach you the culture of Balantas? And yes, we have cultures and values, a lot of them. Can you tell me some? <laughs> Don't worry, maybe next time we'll talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, Mama, mm -hmm. you know, Mr. Jat, I, I think he have. How many children did he have? Mr. Jat has seven children. Seven, one wife, mm -hmm. and seven children. Okay. We have three boys and mm -hmm. four girls. Okay, when, when did he get married? No, actually, I don't know. But what I can tell you is that immediately when he came from um, Europe, mm -hmm. then he decided to settle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That okay. is to get uh, a wife. Did you have any difficulties uh, since you opened this school? Yes. We there are a lot of difficulties. Um, you know, we are in Africa, mm. and then sometimes when you want to do something, mm. people will start to criticize you. Mm -hmm. In that case, um, Mr. Gada have gone through a lot of things when it comes to this um, nursery school, mm. and a lot of different things um, concerning his career. Mm. But like I said, he don't give up. Yes, sometimes it, it has gone to the extent that they have to close the other school, because uh, there are a lot of things that are coming um, downwards, mm. criticizing him just to stop him, mm. but he never give up. He keep on walking, walking, walking till today. Okay. Yeah. Did he ever get any problem with the government? Yes. About the school? Yes. Because they said the school is inside the compound. Mm. Now they have to separate the school from the compound. Mm. So before doing that, he was not having that, he was not financially strong mm. to do that separation. Mm. Then before the uh, before they proceed with the issue, mm. then they decided to close the school. Mm. But due to his hard work, he mm. made sure that um, he never give up mm. and then try by all means to separate the school mm. and the house. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Did this did it take some time to separate the school? Yes, it took some time, some years. It took some in, years. In that time, yes. did he close the school? Yes, he closed the school and then tried to build a fence that would come a barrier between the house and the school. Okay, so where where were these students going to Biden? Yes, Biden, you know, some of them decided to transfer to other schools. Yes, and some of them are Going to uh, do the one. Mm. Yes. So how how did you guys feel in that area when that happened? Yeah, you know, currently as we all know Mr. Gada, a very hard working man who has, you know, tried his level best to establish a school. I think um, it was best to help him to do the work. But so unfortunately when they decided saying that they shouldn't have the school and they have uh, and the compound at the same place, so they need to close this school. Mm. It, it took um, years to reveal everything, mm. but it wasn't very easy with him. Mm. But like I said, he's a man of his word, and he never gives up. He needs to work hard to see to that he separate this school as the government wanted, then he managed with it. Okay, um, by separating, separating the school um, from the compound, did he get help from others or from the government or...? No, there by... was no help. Absolutely, there was no help. It's just one Norwegian who used to come mm. before the corona. And then, till then, you know, this campus were not very good. But at least we are grateful that she was the only one that stood to help her. Okay. Yeah. So, did he own um, any other school apart from this JTP nursery school and before? Before? Yeah. No. No. But I had, I had uh, that he was uh, the owner of one school, but he got a problem with one guy who reported him to his friend. So I don't know. The issue is, uh -huh. like, you know how blacks are? Mm. You know, Mr. Mr. Jata 
is a person who trusts people a lot. Mm -hmm. So he used to have teachers mm -hmm. that could trust so much mm -hmm. and leave everything in their hands. Mm -hmm. And then when they have this opportunity with mm -hmm. the wife, mm -hmm. they would just disappoint him and mm -hmm. take the maybe they build a school in another different area mm -hmm. and then took the money and everything mm -hmm. and go with it. This mm -hmm. is what he was experiencing. Uh, yeah. okay. He got disappointment from different kind of people. Okay. Yeah, that is why I could remember me when I graduated in my grade 12 senior school, I decided to study business management. Mm -hmm. But I came to realize that he was the only one running the school mm -hmm. and then there was no person who was helping him mm -hmm. fully. So I decided to study ECD, that is early childhood education, mm -hmm. so that I would help him because I know by that time he was not feeling very alright. Mm -hmm. And then time to time he is having problems with the health. Mm -hmm. So I decided to step in so that I will continue with the issue. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can you please tell me your background of education? Yeah, I I went to the tertiary level. Yeah? I went to the tertiary level. Okay. Yes. I did my ECD collect I I my I did my ECD course at the Gambia College, mm. yes, and I also did my IT program, that is the certificate and diploma, mm. and I did my senior school at Koto Senior Secondary, mm. Mm. and then I did my junior school at Kalinin Upper Basic School, mm. I did my lower basic at Kalinin Primary School, mm. and then I did my nursery school at JTT Nursery School. Um, who was your teacher? When? When I was in? In the nursery? Yes, my father was my teacher. Yeah. Is, is he alone by that time? Was yes. he alone by that time? Yes. By then he was alone. How many How many classes did he have by was, that time? It, it was one big classroom. Okay. Yes, it was one big class. And then he was the one teaching there. Alone? Yes, alone. During my time he was there alone. Okay. Yes. And then it was hard for him. It was very hard for him. Okay. And then for me, that is why they would tell me, how comes you are 23 and then you are very young and you know how to handle everything in the school. Mm -hmm. I told them that I'm very close to him mm -hmm. because um, I could remember since my grade two, mm -hmm. I was with him in the school. Mm -hmm. Because when I did my nursery school, um, I, he took me to Kalinim Primary School mm -hmm. and I did my grade one. Mm -hmm. By then I was in the morning shift. Mm -hmm. And then when I went to grade 2, I was in the afternoon shift, all I did was I have to go back to the class and sit there and see what he was doing. Mm -hmm. This is where I learned a lot of things. Yes, because at that early stage, I don't give up. Mm -hmm. Even the kids, the students will say, look at this small teacher. When the father is not here, he, uh, she's the one who stepped in. Mm -hmm. But I don't give up. Mm -hmm. You see, some of them will say they will beat me because they are taller than me. Mm -hmm. And then I don't give up because I know that this is something that is very good. And since he has no support, I decided to step in. That is where I continue mm -hmm. throughout my schooling. Whenever I am in the afternoon shift, I have to go to the school and help him. Okay. Now, then you start your responsibility by yes. your childhood. Uh, yes, since my childhood. Okay. Because he is very encouraging because every time he will tell you you need to um, help yourself mm -hmm. and you need to be independent. Mm -hmm. Yes. My dad will always tell you, as I don't say I'm a woman or oh, this is not. You need to fight for yourself, mm -hmm. work so hard, get your education and then you have to be independent. Okay. So since my childhood, I make sure that I focus on that. Yes. I follow his footsteps mm -hmm. until I graduated in the uh, uh, senior school. And then I didn't even told him that mm. I want to study the course ECD mm. just to support him. Oh. And then when I go to the college, I went to the college, sorry, and I took my form. I have to fill the form, everything. Mm. And then I told him that, that now I want to study ECD because I want to help you. Because I've seen that you, ha you don't have any child who is ready to sacrifice everything for you. Mm. And then I could remember him saying that, no, you shouldn't do that. You should follow your heart. Don't say you just have to do it to support my dad or whatever. Mm. What is in your heart is that what you're going to do. Mm. Then I told him that is what I decided. I did not uh, study ECD, but I later realized that I, I wanted to study um, business, but I later realized that studying ECD is the best thing because he's the one that started everything. Mm. Now it cannot go in vain. He must have somebody who needs to help. Okay. Um, Leggy, 
yow no gisse mister jata ak buga xalem mister jata ak num moy num don yare domam okay su ñewé ci walum yare dina wax né né ci koñ buñu dëkk sax dina wax né né dafa strict ignore_time_segment_in_scoring He's very open. See, you know, come Monday, Monday, and this Mahari, you know, Monday, you want to go somewhere for strict. When I go and see you, no need to forget. Why you know, I think they am fun because you know, you need to go and see the new tegal am history. What happened then? The far interesting. The far am interest. Stop. You want to know at least at least more than hell. You know, in the topic you are happened then. You know, so soon help you learn more. You know, why Santa Yala? What they can you think of him? Mundal, aku mendarah di bawah. Mana rumah tak ada mana aku nak minde. Yer nanya sun nyuara yare. Karena aku buka jeli benar nyon. Dengan hamba buku di aku bunga ah kau muda dan bema buka desain darah sabun. Kalau misa jatuh memluar sedo kami dah pernah kita. Wah, because mom dengan awal aku belum tidur semua. Kalau nyonya buka nanti nyonya sedo kami. Tetapi dia make sure dia sah. So then ada problem. Um, yer nene, mutek len. Wahdan akian, wan lene ne komunit, ia nak bawa anda agbai, komplain am anything like separation. Lor mungkin konsen ke ya lah, mungkin bahana. Te, when it comes to the education tami, mudah cahaya ni lor lor. Nun, kom gane he, mantu kor mana ngoh saya skip di sekolah ni. Ede, mungkin so aku dia sah, wah korek wah school. Di nala johan, nala make sure ni johan nala lor lor perbunya kadar si sawal school. Mana ada mungkin konsen ke bawa. Um, lagi at this time, school di nyata student muka ni tak diak beli. Currently fini, lagi am 160 student, bini tak fini. Fili, lagi am 142 student. Okay. Currently, still registration bali on, where lagi kena slow. Okay, lagi yo, sisa head. C'est un guide. Le guide, quand tu as vu le school, tu as vu le niveau. School bi kom lupa pada wajar, mom legacy yang belum sibai, kom lupa bukan mudem, mana pun bukan school bi dem up to standard. Ya, lagi mom lihat lagi mana, mom budak dalam bisnes nak tahu, mana mana kerja mom at staff mana kerja school bi, you make sure the school bi you have to up to standard, but at you know you am at primary school, bukan you am sah, the junior school. Um, kandang nak jauh drop le jere jere. Um, mama jata. Oh, Maria. Ah, Maria. Turi mama. Maria jata. Turi mama. 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 Di waktu anak mom, lebar lebar lebar. Mana sahaja saya ma, semua ni kalau mana mesti sahaja saya di mana bintir, semua saya jalan lah aku jele. Mama dia wane, form mana ni ka, naga jor sat sapen, sakit, logis, naga bintir. Because log logis, naga bayar ko, mana ni ka, lolo, jering lah siapa elit. Tapi sahaja kita naga bintir ko, mana ni ka, invent darah lah mana ni, dia nak jering mun jering society. Bangga amik kita muka bawah mandi, jangan ada jiri, jiri sah 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 itu. So lor mau tak binda mom? Faham sah. Mom dah gom nggak binda. Tapi dah extend dah sah. So new yang aku aku pada aku pun senyum wonder why sah kena. Dah fladan wane bindu lor. Kamu lihat senyum ye? Nggak record ni. Di udah nyu lani time bili akli lawa. Mune walah hidup musafat ekoplum lawa. Mune wayang nyu record kuah lah. Bindu lor dia fladan. 
Jata, Comment, like, Skyling TV, Mole